I, I don't understand. Why didn't you just tell Kripke the truth? Because the truth made me look bad. Whereas a ridiculous bald face lie makes me look good. <laughs> anyway, if Kripke asks, tell him my coitus with Amy is frequent, intense, and whimsically inventive. <laughs> Is my quite a whimsically inventive? That is what I write on the bathroom walls. For a whimsically inventive time, call Leonard Hofstetter. <laughs> I know you're joking, but I'd be okay with that. No. Sheldon, can I ask you a question? Well, of course. You ever gonna sleep with Amy? That's awfully personal. We don't ask Sheldon things like that. Maybe you don't, I do. What's the deal? Well... Word around the university is I'm giving her sex organs a proper jostling. All right, come on, be serious. Look, you guys have been going out a long time. She would clearly like to have a physical relationship with you. So what are you doing? All right, we're down the rabbit hole. What are you doing? Well, first of all, I'm quite fond of Amy. And what's the problem? Penny. All my life, I have been uncomfortable with the sort of physical contact that comes easily to others. Handshaking, hugging, prostate exams. <laughs> but I'm working on it, you know. Just recently, I had to put vapor rub on Amy's chest. Now, a year ago, that would have been unthinkable. Now you know how I feel when I have to put it on you. Hang on, are you saying someday you and Amy might actually get physical? It's a possibility. <laughs> Sheldon, I know this wasn't easy for you and I'm really glad we could have this conversation. Hey.